So, just another quick video about Virtual TDA 2021 and a new feature that was added to the latest release, uh, which is build 6418 at the top of this video, and that is hashtags. So what are hashtags? Well, they're basically like hashtags everywhere else on the internet. They're little tags you can put on your tracks so you can easier get to them, you can easier search for them, you can easier group them and stuff like that. So how do you get to hashtags in Virtual DJ? Well, the easiest place is probably on the info pane. So I have the tracks over here and then if we go over here, I click the little info pane, I get this pop up. And of course that changes with the track because it's additional information about this track. So as you can see, I have different fields down here and I'm on this comments and we'll get back to that. But I also need the user fields because those are the most valuable when it comes to hashtags. And they're not here right now. So that means I need to add them. So I'm going to fields here. I say I want user one and I want user two. And as you can see, those already have a little icon here. That's because they're drop downs. Why is that? Well, that's because they already have predefined tags you can put on them. So as you can see here, I can actually now tag this put, for instance, hit. And in the other field down here, I can tag it with something like wedding. So as you can probably see, the first one is mostly like uh, maybe track type. And the second one down here is mostly like event type. But those are just defaults. You can change that. We'll get back to that. So now, right now, I've, uh, I've tagged them and maybe hit is not enough. Maybe I'll also want to tag them with popular, so you can put in more than one tag if you want to. So now they're tagged, so what can I do then? Well, you can search for them. So if I go over here, I can, for instance, search for wedding. That gives me a lot of tracks, but not the one I want. And why is that? Well, I'm missing the hashtag. So put in the hashtag here, and now there's nothing. And why is that? Well, that's because I need to add the fields to my search criteria. So I go in here and I add field one and I add field two. And now if I redo the search, I get my track just like that. So that's one option here. Uh, that's, some, that's something you can do. Another thing you can do is you can actually uh, add them to uh, here. So you can see them all, all the time if you want to. Uh, that's another place to look for them. And you also have them in the in the tag editor. So if I go into the tag editor, you can see I also have, this is my tag editor, and I also have them down here, user one and user two. Okay, so those are some predefined tags. What else can I do? Well, I can actually clean out all of them if I want to, and then create my own. For instance, if I go into the other uh, track here, I can go in and I can say, well, I want this one to be maybe a crowd pleaser and but I want it to be summer for summer so then I can just put in a new tag saying summer and now it has the tag summer and I can actually see that in the drop down but if I remove again here so that no one has this tag then it's not in the drop down anymore. And why is that? Well, that's because I haven't added them to my favorite track uh, tags. And the way to do that is going into the edit. That's a button one. You will be able to see all of it. And you see in here, you can add more favorite tags. And those are the one you can actually select between in the drop down. You can also give it another name. So the button one here was actually event type. So we could put an event here like that. And if I do that and move the mouse down here, you can see this is now event. So if I select an event, like maybe birthday, maybe a little more sense down here. And you can also see it's called event over here. Another thing you probably noticed in here is that you can actually go in here and you can say, um, if you put, go into the edit, you can go in and you can say, I want a quick filter button. That actually creates a, a quick filter for this, just like the quick filters you might have noticed as another new feature of the latest release. I've already done a couple of videos on that. And if I do it, I get my quick filter here. So I can go in here, say, I just want this one. Or I just want this one. So that, that's another very fast way to get in there and get onto them. Yeah, and another place you can work with uh, 
with these things. Like I said, it's in the comment field. That's a little different. If you click the comment field, you basically get a text field here, and you can put in tags like you want to. For instance, I can put in my name. So now it's tagged with my name. I can search for it. It will also be a quick, uh, build a quick filter, stuff like that. I don't want to do that. You've already seen that. But then if I go into another track, like maybe this one, and go into comment, I can actually select Klaus because it's now a common hashtag for me. So that's a quick, another quick way of getting to hashtags. And of course, when you do that, if you want to be able to search for them, then you should make sure that the comment field is one of the one that you have in your search criteria down here. Uh, finally, I just want to mention a, a little tiny thing that you can actually also uh, combine this with the color, the color co codes in here. So if you want something to be like a little bit easier to see, you can go and say, well, if I have hit in user one, I want it to change color. So if I have a tag here, so if I go into here and I go into edit and I add a new color rule now, this one, I can put in a color, say, well, I want it to be purple if um, user one, that was the one I wanted, has the tag here. And the tag here was kids, like that. Is that right? No, I hit was the one I wanted. So now all the one that has the tag hit will be purple. And of course, if I select a new track out here, just any other track, and go in there and say, well, in here, now you're also marked as hit, it will also turn purple. So that's a way of combining these hashtags with the color, uh, with the color, color, color rules in here. So it's even easier to see the tags. So that was just a little bit about how you can use a new hashtag um, feature in Virtual DJ um, to maybe get uh, even better control and even better search options on your entire database.